The U.S. is looking with increasing favor on Kurdish independence. U.S. officials are dropping their old insistence on maintaining the unity of Iraq and saying that Kurdish independence should be resolved between Erbil and Baghdad. America's top military officer, General Joseph Dunford, chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, recently told reporters exactly that. I think the issue of the, uh, the Kurdish referendum is one that will have to be worked out between President Barzani and Prime Minister Badi and the Iraqi people. The State Department has been a bastion of the old policy, but even it is changing. Three weeks ago, the spokesperson said Iraq should remain united. On Thursday, when she again explained the department's position, that key word was absent. So we would like to see ISIS out, and then once Iraq is stabilized and people can go back to their homes, a referendum, if, if Iraq uh, decides to do that, if the Kurds decide to do that, that would be an internal Iraqi matter. There are many reasons for the change in U.S. policy. They include America's deep appreciation and regard for all the Kurdish people have done, like the crucial role of the Peshmerga in fighting ISIS. They also include intelligence assessments, like that offered by the head of the Defense Intelligence Agency, General Vincent Stewart. Kurdish independence is on a trajectory where it is probably not if, but when. And it will complicate the situation unless there's an agreement in Baghdad, an agreement that uh, all of the parties can live with. So this is a significant referendum that uh, comes up in October this year. Thank you. It seems America is slowly moving away from its old one Iraq policy. There is a long road ahead, but Washington is taking its first baby steps. Lori Milroy, Kurdistan 24, Washington, D.C.